Here's the problem today. We're, a projectile is fired from the edge of a 150 meter cliff with an initial velocity of 180 meters per second at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal. And then the questions are, well we of course neglect air resistance, but then the questions are to find the horizontal distance from the gun to the point where the projectile strikes the ground. And then part B, find the greatest elevation above the ground reached by the projectile. So first we're going to sketch this out. Okay. So there's my sketch. Uh, let's see, so we've got this, we're uh, 150 meters, a cliff 150 meters above the ground below. Um, the, the projectiles launch from here. It's going to follow some path like this. It's up at 30 degrees. You can see what it's going to do. It's going to go like this and then come down and, and hit, hit the ground somewhere here. So part A is going to be, what is this distance? Uh, from where it was fired until where it hits, strikes the ground, and then part B is going to be what is this height uh, to the maximum height from the ground. And here's our uh, string. Okay, so for the uh, x-coordinate of the motion, we just have a, a, a constant speed, and so it's going to look like, like this. x is just whatever the um, velocity of x is, the initial velocity. I'll write that like this, v sub x times the time. Um, that'll be the x-coordinate. The y-coordinate is under a uniform acceleration that due to gravity. And so that'll have the y will be whatever v sub y, its initial velocity, uh, times time, plus a half times the acceleration times the time squared, where the acceleration is the acceleration due to gravity. So what we need to do then is write the initial velocity, and I'm going to write this, the velocity vector, and so that's got two components, one in the x component and one in the y, uh, y direction, and so it is 180 meters per second, times the cosine of 30 degrees in the x direction, we'll call that i hat, and then we've got 180 meters per second times the sine of 30 degrees in the j hat direction. So there's our initial velocity. Um, and let me write down the acceleration. That's only going to be in the y direction. So I'll just write it with a zero in the i hat. And we're going to go with uh, minus 9.8, and this is meters per second squared in the j hat. And of course, the 9.8 is the approximation uh, of the acceleration due to gravity. Okay, so with these set up, we can now write uh, the equations of motion for x and y, and let's do that. So for x, here we've got x, <coughs> we just uh, get the x component of the velocity, that's this 180 times the cosine of 30 degrees, and that comes out to be 155.9, we're just taking the first decimal place, uh, times the time. And so this will be x, well this will be x in meters if t is in seconds. And for y, 
let's see, we're back up here, V sub Y. So we've got um, 180 times the sine of 30 degrees. And that comes out to be 90 T. And I've got a minus, so the, the A is minus 9.8. Um, I've got a half, and I've got T squared. So I've got minus 4.9. t squared. So I've got equations for x and y. Okay, and, and in part a, our question was what is x when y equals minus 150? So let's write that in. plug in that. Okay, so if y equals minus 150, we've got minus 150 equals 90t minus 4.9t squared. We solve for t And we get t equals uh, 19.91 seconds. So now we come back up here, um, and so we're gonna know, we're gonna calculate that x equals 155.9 times 19.91, and the whole answer will be in meters. So when we do that, we get that it's about 3,100 meters. Now part B, the question was, what is Y when V sub Y equals zero. Um, so we calculate V sub Y So at that time, um, 9.17 seconds, V sub Y equals zero. And we come back here, calculate what Y was, 99.17 um, minus 4.9. Squared, and that equals 413 meters above the gun. Well, so is that the answer? 413 meters, uh, uh, was that the answer to the question? No, because the question was, how far above the ground did it reach? not above the gun, so we've got to add the distance from the gun to the ground. And we get 